flame coming in. As you move that light around, these flames almost seem alive and that starts looking extremely different to anything else that you've seen before. In fact, the device in itself looks really stunning. So here's an image of the flame red. This is a camera shot image, it's not a 3D render. And as you can see, the flame patterns really shining through. So it's all the six layers working together to give you a design like no other. Uh, but not just the red, even the blue, I agree, looks stunning. And the blue also plays really well with different lights. So when you move that light around, you start seeing this entire pattern emerging. Now these, as you, can un you could probably understand, the, the glacier blue and the flame red are inspired by the fire and ice design. Uh, but for the very first time on any of our devices, we are also having a second design philosophy. And this is slightly different from the fire and ice, and we are calling it inspired by carbon. <laughs> Yes, finally some people for black. So this one is my personal favorite. Uh, it still is a six layer design. That means under bright light, you start seeing this depth to this Kevlar pattern. It looks absolutely stunning. But of course, in my opinion, I think it's the classiest. Manu and Raghu are on the red and blues. So we'll see what happens later. Uh, but this is not a regular Kevlar pattern. It's slightly different. What we've done is, we've taken the standard Kevlar pattern that our friends over at POCO use, and then we've added a Mark Newson pattern, giving you a very different effect, unlike any pattern that you would have seen with Kevlar designs or Kevlar phones. Uh, and this obviously gives you a lot more premium aesthetic, as well as a very understated design. Uh, what you would also notice is AMOLED display on a Redmi device. And we are calling this the Horizon AMOLED display. Right? It's, it's, it's a bit more than just a regular AMOLED. It is the true full screen experience. There are no notches, there are no holes, there are no obstructions to your viewing experience. It goes completely edge to edge in this incredible 6.39 inch full HD plus display. It is AMOLED and we've pushed it all the way to the edges, giving you an incredible 91.9 .9 screen to body ratio. Uh, how we've done this is also really great. We've got narrow bezels on the side, it's only 1.85 millimeter. On the top, it's a 2.1. And when we go at the bottom, it's just 3.8. Right? making it the bare minimum bezels that you can have a phone with this technology without actually compromising on any structural integrity. Uh, the overall trade-off obviously is that what you get is absolutely incredible. Uh, with this amazing screen, what we've also got is theater grade viewing experience. So the color gamut of this panel is actually the DCI-P3 color gamut. It's more than NTSC, it's more balanced than the regular NTSC 100%. And this is something that, is, uh, that was started off by the digital cinema initiatives in Americas. And now most of your feature films are using the DCI P3 color gamut. What that means is when you're watching those movies on your phone, on your K20 Pro, you're gonna see exactly how the movie maker intended you to see that movie. Uh, but not just that, you also have a very high brightness panel. This is 600 nits. This is the brightest panel that we've ever put on a phone. And both of these combined give you an incredible overall viewing experience. And we decided to top it off even further. We also have HDR support on the K20 Pro. So whether you're viewing content or you're playing games, uh, it has all of this. And I guess I can see a couple of faces. Yes, uh, Netflix is supported. Uh, you do have the Widevine L1 support, uh, which should be coming in on Friday morning on the K20 Pro. So all your favorite games and content have the HDR support coming in. 
And for the uninitiated, of course, I'm assuming most of the Mi fans know the HDR mode when it comes to gaming, right? So when you're playing PUBG and you move to an HDR, if your phone supports it, you can see a lot more. The difference is actually quite stark. So this is without HDR and with HDR. Let me show you this side by side. And it starts making a whole lot of difference. Again, I'm going to go back to gaming. So imagine you are here and you're gaming. And this is the final circle. For the gamers who know what the final circle means. And there are a lot of snakes in the grass. Not little snakes, but obviously people kind of crouch. With HDR mode, chances that you will spot them is a lot more. When you go back to a second generation game turbo and you put on the visual enhancements, chances that you'll see them is even higher. So you are actually getting a massive gaming advantage with this particular phone with all of these optimizations coming in. It is AMOLED, so we decided to go a step further. <clears throat> and for the first time, we've got an always-on display on the K20 Pro. <laughs> so right on the screen, without you having to touch the phone, you get the basic information as well as all the icons for your notification, so you know exactly if you need to pick up the phone or not. And when this was looking so good, we decided to take it one step further, and we added a system-wide dark mode. So your entire UI goes dark. Now, while we are at the screen part of it, we've also added a seventh generation in-screen fingerprint sensor. It's super fast, it's super accurate. We've increased the overall size of the fingerprint sensor so that chances of wrong taps is reduced. So from a Horizon AMOLED display perspective, you get a 6.39 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display, which you can use to watch all your HDR content. Of course, it is a high brightness panel. It's about 600 nits. Uh, it is gentle on the eyes. You've got dark mode. You've got a reading mode certified by TUV. And of course, for those people who care, we also have DC dimming and an incredible 91.9 screen to body ratio. Uh, now, this obviously looks absolutely stunning, but this creates a bit of a problem for us. Right? Where do we put the front camera? And we decided to move the camera up. So again, for the very first time, we're moving the camera into a pop-up selfie, uh, and that mechanism sits right on top. Uh, now, this camera obviously uh, adds a bit more versus everyone else. My favorite feature of the pop-up camera has to be the CELS. What is CELS? The camera edge lighting system. This is the first in the world to have this. And of course, apart from looking really cool, it has one key functionality, is when you are taking a selfie, everyone in your group is automatically drawn to where the camera is. They automatically end up looking at the camera, and you get perfect selfies every time. You don't have to tell people where to look. So obviously, it looks stunning as well. Uh, but because this was the first time ever that we had a moving part in any of our smartphones, we had to ensure that we had the best quality parameters. Uh, as Manu mentioned, quality is paramount for Xiaomi India. And with the pop-up camera, we had to be doubly sure of this. So the pop-up camera is tested for 300,000 times. That means if you're taking 100 selfies a day, it will last you more than eight years. I think by the time we'll have K100, uh, now, that's one part of it, right? That's the regular uh, operation. What happens if you accidentally drop your K20 Pro while taking a selfie? It also has drop protection. It senses a fall from the gyro gyroscope. It'll tell the CPU, which instructs the motor to withdraw the camera. And before it falls, you are safe. Now, in case you dropped it from a very really low height and the camera didn't withdraw, we've put in another protection to it. The front camera lens is protected by sapphire glass. 
so you don't get those scratches. So amazing amount of engineering gone into this one moving part. So of course you've got the sapphire lens, you've got a, a magnetic switch which detects accidental presses for the pop-up camera. Of course the gyroscope detects if it's getting a fall and re retracts the camera and it is tested for 300,000 cycles ensuring that through the lifetime of the K20 Pro you will not face any problems with this one moving part. Uh, now that's about the quality part of it. Of course, it is a brilliant camera. It is a 20 megapixel camera in the front with all the cool features that you expect from a Xiaomi flagship. So you've got AI scene detection, you've got AI portrait mode, and you also have something called a panorama selfie. So when you are standing with a huge group, you just move your phone around and you can capture the entire group in one shot. Now, when we were looking at this pop-up selfie camera, uh, there's one more thing that we had to kind of solve for, and that is face unlock. Now, you do have the in-screen fingerprint sensor, but we've added the AI face unlock to this as well. Now, of course, the AI face unlock will have to have the pop-up camera rise. Uh, so that's why the in-screen fingerprint sensor is a seventh generation one, and that is the fastest way to unlock the device securely. Uh, now this is from the front camera perspective, uh, let's move to the back and that's where the fun starts. We've got AI triple camera, again a first for Redmi series in India. <clears throat> and, and these cameras are interesting actually. So you've got three cameras, however there's been a little trend of sorts where you put triple camera but one camera is pretty much not doing anything, right? You call it depth. Uh, we decided not to have that. Uh, pretty much like in Xiaomi India, Manu has a job for everyone. Uh, for these cameras, each camera has a very critical job to do. Of course, the first one, or the primary camera, is a 48 megapixel camera. And this is Sony IMX586 that a lot of you already know. Uh, has been absolutely loved on some of our devices. There's an additional 13 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. Uh, and this is wider than any other ultra-wide cameras available in the market today. And we've added a third one, which is a telephoto. So you get incredible details, as well as an ultra-wide mode. And if you need to go closer for portraiture, you also have an 8 MP. None of them are not doing anything, I guess. None of them are just depth sensors. Uh, but not just this. I mean, the camera system is a lot more complex than it. Uh, there are three cameras. Along with that, there's also a laser autofocus, right? And, of course, you have the dual LED flash. And all of it works together to give you really different perspectives for every capture. So when you capture with the 48, or you capture with the 13 megapixel ultra-wide, or you go closer to the subject with the, the 8 megapixel 2x telephoto, all of them gives you a very different result Essentially, cameras are for the creative folks, and this lets you unleash that creativity in the best possible way. Let me talk a bit more on the 48. Now, this is the Sony IMX586. It is the highest resolution camera sensor available today. And if I can probably say that, uh, nobody knows 586 better than Xiaomi does. Right? We've got it on most amount of devices, and of course, we've been tuning it ever since we were one of the first few to launch this, and it's become even better. Now that 48 is combined with the f1.75 aperture lens, giving you incredible details. If you take a look at this particular image, right, the detailing is absolutely top-notch. You can see every window. You can actually count the floors on all of these buildings there. And this is the magic of 48. However, what's interesting is, this is just a part of that 48 captures a lot more. <laughs> and of course, we know the advantage of having a high resolution camera sensor. Versus a 12 megapixel, not only do you get more information, but you also get better clarity when you're looking, when you're pixel peeping and you're going really close. So you get that advantage with the 48 megapixel on the K20 Pro. 
But 48 megapixel is just not enough. Like I said, you need to know how to tune this. And we've done exactly that. If you'll compare it with other people carrying a similar sensor. Let's take a look at this one, right? So you've got the OnePlus 7 Pro, which also has a 48 megapixel camera. And you've got the K20 Pro. Uh, you can start seeing that difference. Actually, if, if I go closer, you start seeing even more difference. If you think the, the flower is pixelated, it is by design. It's a Lego. Uh, but you can start seeing the difference in terms of the overall exposure it's able to kind of manage and the colors. And this is where Xiaomi's enhanced AI as well as camera optimization really comes to the fore and it stands out. Now that's the 48. I'm going to move on to the next camera, which is the 8 megapixel telephoto. And this comes really well in handy when you're going in for those portraiture shots, when you're trying to capture a subject like this one. And this 8 megapixel does an excellent job there. But not just that, suppose you're trying to take a picture of an object, it again shines. If you take a look at this particular image, right? and this one actually has been shot through one of our fans, uh, Biswajit, who is part of the Me Explorer program, and this is an absolutely brilliant image there. So thank you, Biswajit, wherever he is. Uh, when we look at telephotos, we also did a bit of a comparison here with the 10s as well as the 7 Pro. And let me go a little closer to show you the differences. Not only is the detailing and light on the face a lot better, but if you look at the crown, again, all that information that you can see on the K20 Pro is far ahead of the other two. So it does a much better job there. Now that's been the 48 megapixel uh, main camera and the 8 megapixel telephoto. We've got a third one, and this one obviously is a magical camera lens. It's a 13 megapixel ultra wide. It's 124.8 degrees. It's wider than anything else out there, and of course, lets you capture a lot more. Why do you need this? So for example, when you're taking a shot like this, right? Now this shot, again, was by Vivek. He was part of the Me Explorer program. Uh, when you're taking a shot like this, camera's AI will automatically detect that this is a landmark, you're too close to it, and it will recommend you to move to the ultra-wide mode. And when you move to the ultra-wide mode, you see the entire picture. Right? Wow. So putting them side by side, of course, this 124.8 does a magical job when you're trying to capture these landmarks, when you're capturing a lot more information from that angle. Uh, <clears throat> and to move between each of these lenses, we made it super easy. So just plain UI gestures, pinch in or pinch out. It's, it's really easy to kind of move between each of these lenses. Uh, there's also a visual indicator of 0.6, 1, and 2x. So it becomes really easy. Uh, from a camera perspective, we've also added a night mode. Uh, so you get that incredible 48 megapixel adding on to this night mode through a super pixel technology. And what you get along with that is laser autofocus. So fast focus even in the dark, which means you get incredible night shots like this one. Uh, now, these are things that you've seen from Xiaomi in the past. There's one more uh, new AI algorithm that I wanted to talk about, and that is called AI skyscaping. Uh, and this is quite incredible. Let me get into the images itself. Now, this is an image that was taken in Pondicherry. It's at about 7 in the morning. right? So you see that beautiful mist coming into the land, and you've got a nice, peaceful lands uh, landscape happening at the back. Now, with Xiaomi's AI engine, you actually can change the entire sky at one click. And that becomes the main sunlight mode. Uh, it's not just the sky, but if you notice, the entire lighting on the buildings, on the subject, also changes. Look very carefully. I'm going to go into dusk. Right. So it looks absolutely realistic. Now, this is a lot of AI firepower coming in behind. But for us, on the K20 Pro, with that much performance, it happens in an instant, and of course, if you want to make it look really dramatic, you also have a sunset mode. Everything changes 
the light on the buildings, the light on the subject, as well as, of course, the sky that you notice. So we are introducing this for the first time on the K20 Pro, uh, the AI skyscaping. And of course, one more thing that me fans have loved, we're adding 960 frames per second slow motion. And at 960 frames per second, obviously what you see is a lot more. And along with that, you get 4K UHD recording at 60 frames per second. Now this is slightly different because all three cameras support 4K, not just one. You know, for the people who take videos, uh, that is an ultimate expression of creativity. And by limiting you to just one lens, I think we will be holding you back. And that's why we've made this exception. So whether you want to go closer or you want to take an ultra wide shot or just the regular, you get 4K 60 in all three. In fact, our team did exactly that. So they went out to this amazing uh, state of Kerala and shot this video all shot on the K20 Pro. Take a look. And that's the power of having all three lenses and the ability to use all three really well. Uh, you get results like that. Uh, so moving on from a camera perspective, we also have Google Lens built into the viewfinder for the very first time. So when you've got your camera open, all you need to do is press, uh, long press on the thing that you want to detect and Google Lens will automatically detect it. It's again a first for the K-series. So that sums up the camera or my third philosophy, which is incredible camera. So you've got a 48 MP AI triple camera at the back. So you've got a 48 MP IMX 586 along with a 8 MP telephoto and a 13 megapixel ultra wide. You have AI skyscaping, you have 960 frames per second, you've got 4K video recording on all three lenses, everything that you want from a flagship. And of course, for the first time ever, we've got a, a pop-up camera uh, it's a 20 megapixel pop-up camera with, again, all the AI enhancements that you expect from a Xiaomi flagship. Now, coming to the fourth part, or the fourth philosophy of what makes it a flagship, and that is probably the most important one, is having no compromises. Zero compromises on a flagship, which is really hard to find these days. First one, of course, is no compromise on the battery. You have a 4000 mAh large battery. And this, combined with a 7 nanometer chip and an OLED panel, gives you incredible battery life. And on top of that, we've added even more software optimization. So you have a dark mode, you have dynamic power mode, everything else coming in, giving you almost two days of battery life with the K20 Pro. Uh, and there was one more ask, along with battery, is how fast can it charge? So, Happy to announce that the K20 Pro will come with, or will support, sorry, a 27 watt sonic charge. Uh, we'll talk about the sonic charge in a bit. But what this 27 watt sonic charge does is in just 15 minutes, it'll give you 10 plus hours of 4G voltage talk time. So incredible, 
when you really need that power on the go. Uh, of course, in 30 minutes, it goes all the way to 58% off of 4,000 mAh power bank. Uh, the next no compromise that I want to talk about, and this is something that has plagued flagships for almost three years now, is slowly all the flagships have suddenly decided that none of the people need a headphone jack. Well, the K20 Pro thinks otherwise. We have the headphone jack here. And the headphone jack does much more. Because it is a flagship, it is a high-res audio certified headphone jack. It's got a DAC, and the music on this sounds absolutely incredible if you've got the right drivers for it. Now, not just from a headphone perspective, but even the speaker has been enhanced. It's a larger 0.9 cubic centimeter loudspeaker box with smart PA. That means it's louder and clearer than ever before. All of it coming in into the K20 Pro. Uh, we've added one new thing as well. Uh, for the first time ever on any of our devices, we are also introducing dual band GPS. So it supports both L1 and L5. The advantage, obviously, is more accurate positioning and navigation, so especially when you're driving around and you get to this circle which has five roads and you don't know exactly which right you have to take, uh, this accuracy really starts making a difference. Uh, one more thing that we've not compromised is on splash proof. It comes certified by P2I. In fact, we said let's not test it ourselves, but we sent it over to our friends over at London. Let's see what they had to say about this. Hey, I'm Richard, Head of Applications at P2I in the UK, and today I want to talk to you about our flagship splash-proof technology. When Xiaomi reached out to us and explained their vision towards creating a flagship smartphone, we started working on a solution that gives your phone an unrivaled lifetime protection. Splash-proof technology helps with repelling any liquid that comes near, which ensures that your smartphone is fully protected. We brought our flagship splash-proof protection together with Xiaomi's improved hardware design, which we have verified here in our UK labs, so that your Redmi K20 or K20 Pro is truly ahead of the curve. So that sums it up, the four key things that you need for the Alpha flagship. You need flagship performance, and with Snapdragon's 855, along with the LPDDR4X, our second generation game turbo, and our eight layer graphite cooling, you get exactly that. You get an amazing Aura Prime design. You've got three colors, as well as Corning Gorilla Glass 5, both in the front and the back, and along with that, an aluminum frame. Uh, you've got 48 MP AI triple cameras, giving you incredible results, whether you want to take it on 48 or if you want to go ultra wide on the 13 or really go close with the 8. And no compromises on hardware, charging speeds, headphone jack, spill proof, everything that you want in a particular flagship. And to sum it all up, we've got an amazing product video. Let's play that, please.
So that's the K20 Pro. Now today we've got one more device in the family. We are kickstarting the K series, the K20. Now with the K20, uh, unlike a lot of other brands where they have a huge difference between the Pro and the non-Pro variant, we decided to keep the experiences as close as possible. Right? It is definitely for a slightly different group, but we didn't want to compromise on all the latest and greatest things that we've got. So the K20 also comes with this incredible Aura Prime design. It looks stunning. It has the same three colors of Glacier Blue, Flame Red, and Carbon Black. It also has Corning Gorilla Glass 5, both in the front and the back, and that uh, aluminum chassis that blends in with the glass. It also has a Horizon AMOLED display. It is a 6.39 inch, and this also supports HDR content along with the DCI-P3 color gamut. It also has an in-screen fingerprint sensor. Uh, one change that you get from the K20 Pro when you go to the K20 is we've used Qualcomm's Snapdragon 730. Now, this is the latest 700 series chip from Qualcomm, built on an all new 8 nanometer uh, process, and overall getting you a lot more powerful uh, experience even in the premium mid range. In fact, Qualcomm 730 is the third most powerful chip from Qualcomm ever after 855 and 845. So it is actually no slouch. Uh, if we compare it with, say, a previous generation 700 series, uh, the gap becomes huge. Almost a 40% jump over the Snapdragon 710. Of course, the 710 we had introduced with the Mi 8 SE last year in May, so things have to obviously improve quite a bit from then on. Uh, another thing with the K20 is you still have an amazing 4000 mAh battery and you will have an 18 watt in-box fast charger. It supports up to 18 watt. Uh, no change in terms of the camera configuration. You still have an 8 megapixel telephoto. You have a 48 megapixel Sony IMX582 sensor and a 13 megapixel ultra wide, giving you incredible shots like this, or if you go close, you also have amazing macro shots coming in. And with the same camera config and with the same lens config, you obviously get amazing low light images as well, like this one shot on the K20. Now this one's obviously very hard to capture because all the light is coming from the back and this does an incredible job. So the K20 overall, no change in the experiences. You still get a super fast Qualcomm Snapdragon 730. It's the latest in 700 series, uh, giving you a new Cryo 470 architecture. It's built on 8 nanometer. It also supports the second generation game turbo that we spoke about. So you get enhanced gaming. You have a large battery with an 18 watt fast charge. You have the same Horizon AMOLED display, that beautiful 6.39 inch edge to edge display no holes, no notches, and with a 7th generation fingerprint sensor built right in. Uh, support for HDR, support for DCI-P3, and of course covered with Corning Gorilla Glass 5. Moving on to the cameras, you have a 48 megapixel IMX582 sensor. Uh, again, a half inch sensor giving you incredible results, combined with a 13 megapixel ultra wide and an 8 megapixel telephoto. You have a 20 megapixel pop-up selfie. This also goes through all the quality checks that the K20 Pro does. And you have obviously the incredible looking Aura Prime design with the three colors coming in. This also has a 3.5 mm jack and it also supports the high-res audio. So pretty much no compromise even if you're moving from the Pro to the K20. Uh, let's look at our overall product video for the K20 as well.
So we had the K20 Pro, the Alpha flagship, and a K20 which shares so much of the experiences of the K20 Pro. Now for the next part, I'd like to call Manu back on stage, and of course you know what it's all about. <laughs> okay, uh, so we launched two new devices, the Alpha flagship Redmi K20 Pro and Redmi K20. So what should be the price of these devices? Now, before we go there, before we go there, let me just talk about the pricing and manufacturing of flagship devices. Typically, the manufacturing, local manufacturing in India of flagships is very tough because they use very high-end sophisticated components and it's very difficult to manufacture them here in the country. And that's why you see other flagship devices and you see a huge price gap between their international pricing and their India pricing. For example, OnePlus 7 Pro sells in China at around 45,000 rupees, the highest end variant, and in India at about 53,000 rupees, so 8,000 rupees higher. Uh, iPhone XS Max, of course, there's no comparison, right? 79,000 versus 1,24,000. And that's only because most of the components, either the phones are imported in India, or majority of components are imported in India. Now, with Redmi K20 Pro, we are making all the devices here in the country. And 65% of the phone is locally sourced. So yes, we will get all these tax benefits on 65% and we'll pass it on to our Mi fans. But yes, we will still have to pay taxes and import duty on remaining 35% and also on some of the raw material of this 65%, right? So we'll try and keep it as low as possible. Now for K20 Pro, we were debating on which variants to launch. We also did a poll yesterday and we believe for K20 Pro, which is the alpha flagship, majority of people do not want 464, do not want 4128, even do not want 664. So we're launching only two variants the top two ones, which is 6128 and 8256. <laughs> Only the best for all our Mi fans. Now, before I go to price, these are really, really great flagship devices. You get best of everything. You can compare it with OnePlus 7 Pro, Samsung S10, iPhone XS Max. Uh, it has AMOLED display. It has Snapdragon 855 the fastest processor in the world. It has 48 megapixels Sony IMX586 camera sensor, 40, 20 MP pop-up, glass body, 4000 image, a headphone jack, almost every single thing that you can ask for. And if you look at the 8256 variant of these flagship devices, OnePlus 7 Pro at 53,000, Samsung S10 does not have a 256 GB, it has 8 GB, 128 GB variant, at 62,000. iPhone XS Max does not have 8 GB, it has 4 GB, 256 GB at 1,24,000. <laughs> and then we have Redmi K20 Pro. So the 8 GB, 256 GB variant of Redmi K20 Pro is being launched at Thirty thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine rupees. And the six GB one twenty eight GB is being launched at twenty-seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine rupees. So this is Redmi K20 Pro for you guys. The Alpha flagship starting at rupees twenty-seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine only. On Redmi K20. We have two variants, 6GB, 64GB, and 6GB, 128GB. This is probably one of the best mid-premium devices. Snapdragon 730, which is 40% faster than predecessor 710. It is the third fastest chipset in the world from Qualcomm. 48 MP AI triple camera. It is Gorilla Glass 5, while many other devices use plastic. It is 4000 mAh battery. And the 6GB, 128GB is being launched at 2399 and the 6GB 64GB is being launched at 2199
So this is Redmi K20 for you guys, starting at only 21,999 rupees. Now, few other things. Every single unit of Redmi K20 and K20 Pro will come with a ultra premium hard case inside the box. This is a similar case that we gave with Mi Mix 2 and all our Mix series. It cost about 500 rupees and every single phone will come with this hard case inside the box. We have one more variant that we haven't spoken about. And this is the variant that we teased yesterday. And we are calling this as a signature edition. Now, this is made of pure gold. This is not gold coating. This is not uh, uh, just any small layer of gold. It's actually made of gold. And it is diamond studded, as you can see in the bottom. And I'm carrying one of these phones with me. So, we'll have very few units. Of course, this is made of real gold. So, we'll only have 20 units of this phone being made in India. And just the cost of making this phone, the cost of gold plus diamonds plus making charges is 4,80,000 rupees. We haven't finalized the price of this one at how much will we sell it. We haven't decided the process in which we will sell these devices. But probably if you were to price it, we will give the hardware, the non-gold hardware for free. Which means we can actually launch the device at just 4 lakh 80,000 rupees. <laughs> so when can you buy Redmi K20, K20 Pro? Now many of you guys gave us feedback that you do not like flash sale and you would want us to do something better. And I completely agree. So we have been setting up a lot more factories so that everybody who wants to buy our devices can buy them easily. And so for K20, K20 Pro, we came up with a new mechanism called as Alpha Sale. And happy to share that 70,000 people participated in this. And this is incredible because this is not like any other blind sale. People actually paid money to be part of this Alpha Sale. These are paid orders. So for all these 70,000 people, they can complete the transaction today starting 8 p.m. on me.com and Flipkart. You can also redeem your 855 rupees coupon. And for all your alpha users, people who have put their faith in us, who paid 855 rupees with the, even without knowing the specifics or about the price, we have something special for you guys. We are going to give a 2,000 rupee cash. Should not participate in alpha sale. There is one last chance. You can go to me home tomorrow, which is 18th. And you can get the same cashback offer across all Mi Home stores across the country. Now, everybody else, where can you buy Redmi K20 and K20 Pro? So the first flagship that we launched in India was Mi 3. And this was sold on 22nd July 2014. At that point of time, we only had 10,000 units. Because a lot of people told us that Xiaomi can never succeed in India. Like nobody even knows how to pronounce the name Xiaomi. Right? So why should somebody come and buy a Xiaomi phone? So we had 10,000 phones because we had 10,000 followers on Facebook. We said, these 10,000 people will at least come and buy our phone. And on that day, the first sale day, this is what had happened. Uh, Flipkart crashed for the first time in the history of Flipkart. About half a million people turned up. It seems a small number today, half a million, but it was a massive number that, at that point of time, five years ago. And to buy these 10,000 phones, about five lakh people or half a million people turned up. So we just think 22nd July is a great day for us. So the first sale of Redmi K20, K20 Pro is going to be on 22nd July. <laughs> across me.com, Flipkart, and Mi Home stores. And soon be, it will be available across all our offline stores. Now, we also have a special offer for people who have not participated in Alpha Sale. We will be giving a 1,000 rupee cash back if they use ICC bank cards. We're also introducing the 27 watt. This is something a lot of you guys asked for. So inside the box, you get an 18 watt charger for both Redmi K20 and K20 Pro. But you can buy a 27 watt sonic charge adapter from me.com. And this we are launching at rupees 999. This is really incredible because if you see the Wook charger at 20 watt is a similar price. And the 
uh, RAP charger at th 30 watts is at about 1500 rupees and we are giving the 27 watt sonic charge at 999. We are also launching the cases. So this is the ultra premium case in different colors, three different colors that you can also buy from me.com, from our partner websites and from our offline stores at just 499. We also have an offer from our partner Adel where you get double the data and a lot of other really cool offers from our partner Adel if you were to use Adel connection on Redmi K20 and K20 Pro. So these were the two devices that we launched today guys, Redmi K20 and K20 Pro. We have few other small surprises planned for you. Let's start with the first one. Yes, so we are launching Mi Neckband Bluetooth earphones. Um, we are launching, uh, this, is, this comes with Bluetooth 5.0, it has an 8 hours battery life. This can be voice control and this is being launched at only 1,599. And we've also started the crowdfunding for Mi Rechargeable LED Lamp. This is live on Mi.com right now. So you can go and participate in the crowdfunding. This starts at only 1,299 and you can go and buy it or participate in the crowdfunding on me.com. So that's all guys from our side. We are launching Redmi K20, Redmi K20 Pro, the ultimate flagship killer. And then we are launching two new devices, two new ecosystem products, which are rechargeable LED lamp and the uh, neck band. So with this, Thank you so much everybody for joining in and we'll do a quick photo op. I'll call Anuj and Raghu on stage.